BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so. Yeah. I was uh, alerted to this particular story by Hassan Campbell. Shout out to Hassan Campbell. Uh, that's how I was alerted to the story. Um, I follow his channel. It came through on the feed. I uh, haven't actually been watching his channel lately. I don't really watch other YouTube content creators, various reasons. Um, so I was watching his channel. Uh, I, I saw the story. I followed the story. Basically, what ended up happening that was a one-year-old boy was killed in the Bronx uh, by the mother's boyfriend. So uh, I haven't been covering a lot of local stories lately. Uh, the reason why I haven't been covering a lot of local stories is just because I haven't been able to get myself settled down in a situation where I could apply my works the way that I want to apply my works. So it's neither here nor there. We're going to start covering local stories now. All right. And this is one of the first ones that we're going to cover. So basically, uh, the child that was killed, his name is uh, Legacy Buford. Um, I want to say something real quick. Um, and this is just to be honest and just fair with people and, and, and i'm going to talk about the child's name for a second but y'all do know how you name your child is important in god's eyes right there's things that are names for a reason and then there's things that's words for a reason let's stop giving kids words as names right anyway um basically what happened was the mother was uh at work and the boyfriend was asked to come over and take care of uh, the child, the, 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 the boyfriend's name is Kashawn Jordan, K-E-I-S-H-A-W-N, Gordon, pardon me, G-O-R-D-O-N. So basically, um, I'm about to get into a little bit of the details, but I really can't say much because this is YouTube. But I will tell you this, what they're saying happened is that the, the boyfriend is saying that the baby was crying and he was trying to stop the baby from crying. Now, before I even go into any more detail about what happened that particular night, I want to give you a little bit of backstory. They had police called to the uh, address three times um, and at least three times and because of complaints of a baby crying i want to say something real quick if you got your baby crying in your home and people are calling the police because your baby is crying what the fuck yo what the fuck three times we know babies cry and we know kids are bad but this is a one year old copy people are calling the police because there's a one year old crying in your house so bad I don't want the police showing up for this type of stuff anymore. You want to know who I want showing up? Real quick, for everybody that don't know, in New York City, we have this new thing where if you call the um, the uh, 311 or 911 because somebody in your home is having a um, mental health crisis, they don't send the police. They send these other people. That's what I want. When somebody calls up and be like, yo, there's a baby crying, I want specialists sent. They're going to go. They're going to give the freaking baby an evaluation. They're going to physically look at the baby, make sure that the baby's physically fine. They're going to take some blood. They're going to make sure that the baby is getting the right proteins and nutrients and everything else. Because I'm going to explain something to y'all real quick while a lot of y'all babies is crying. They're out here giving your babies soda. They're out here putting stuff inside of your babies that is not food that can give your baby nourishment. So the baby's body is still hungry because the baby is not hungry because the baby want to eat. The baby is hungry because the baby needs to grow. So you need to put good stuff in your babies. Stop giving your baby soda. Stop giving your babies all of this juice with high fructose corn syrup. Stop giving your baby milk from the store. If you could breastfeed, please breastfeed. With that being said, they had three calls to the house. Because of a baby crying. Now the story that homeboy is saying happened was. Basically. Uh, the baby started crying. He didn't know how to stop the baby from crying. He threw the baby up in the air. He might have squeezed the baby a little bit too much in the ribs. He don't know what happened. The baby started crying. Boom. The baby died. That's basically what his story is. Then he says. After the baby. After the baby wasn't. Before the baby died. He didn't for whatever the reason is. Decided to go get a uh, toothbrush. And sodomize the baby. Did I add that this dude, uh, he's been in and out of jail since he was like all his life. He's about 23 years old. He's been in and out of jail all his life. 
Um, and I'm not trying to say just because he's been to jail, you know, people that go to jail are, 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 are baby sodomizers. I'm not saying this, but he's been to jail all his life. He's only 23 years old. <sighs> this is crazy. He's only 23 years old. Uh, he said that he was frustrated because the baby wouldn't stop crying. If you're sticking stuff in the baby's butt, I'm pretty sure. And also, and, and this does not make this any better. I don't even care if it's a boy or a girl. You can't, we're not doing that. All right. People like doing that because I think that sometimes people think that if you do something to a girl, that, you know, it's not as bad. You know, if you do it, if, if, if a male molests a little boy, oh, he's the worst. But if he molests a little girl, he's bad, but he's not as bad. No, all of these niggas is the worst. We're not doing that. So I'm not even going to tell you what the, what, if the boy was a, it, it, all right, so it's a boy. But that's not the point in which I'm trying to make. So he's busy sodomizing the baby. I don't know what to tell you. Um, they said the case follows the death of, uh, of, there was also a situation that happened with a young girl that was seven years old that was found deaf. Also, her name is Jaleesa's Baddies. Um, just want to mention that. They said since the arrest, questions have arisen about whether the police and child welfare authorities missed signs that the boy who turned one in August was abused. The administration of children's services said it was investigating the boy's death. You trying to tell me that they had three calls to the household, at least a minimum of three calls to the household and nobody got that baby removed. They had a minimum of three calls to the household. Nobody got that baby physically checked. You understand what I'm saying? Like we need to be doing these things. People are really weirdos out here. We're living in a society where a woman will see somebody that she knows that that nigga is all of the worst things in the world. And she'll see another dude and she'll say, that dude's a square. I'd rather date the guy that might kill me. We live in that world right now. That dude's a square. I'd rather date the guy that might molest my kids. We live in that world. They don't say those things in their head, but they'll say that guy's a square. That guy looks like he's been in some shit. I want to go date the guy that looks like he's been in some shit. And then they get in situations like this. I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's pray for the, uh, the family of the child. His name is Legacy Buford. Let's pray for the family of the child. Um, I don't know what to say. There's no way that this happened to this child in the the mother didn't know that there was some stuff going on with that man. The mother didn't know that that child was being abused. I'm not going to believe that. You can believe that all you want. I don't believe that. I think that they need to uh, uh, investigate the situation and look into how complicit the mother was with this child being um, abused in such a manner. And basically nothing happens. I, I don't know what to say. Um, they also says that a person briefed in the case who requested amenity to discuss the confidential details said that on July 14th, social workers and special victims detectives was assigned to investigate a report from the state's child abuse hotline that Legacy's older brother was being sexually abused. The police investigator later closed, but no children were examined or interviewed. How are no children being examined or interviewed? I 100% believe that the older brother was being abused at this point. Because I'm going to tell you what happened. That man went to prison. That boy went to prison. He got used in prison. You know what I'm saying? And then he came out and he started taking out that anger and frustration on males in which he can dominate. That's what happened. Period. You'll be surprised at how many men, and this is not me knocking nobody. If you know, you know. You'd be surprised at how many men go to prison. Sh totally straight. Never been with a man a day in their life. Somebody take their manhood from them. And now by the time they get out of jail, now they like that shit. That's the type of shit they own. And at the same time, you have no idea how many people go through that, resent it the whole time, and then they just can't wait to take it out on somebody else. That's this situation. Leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. But hands down, without a shadow of a, a, shadow of a doubt, please throw this man under the jail. Put this nigga straight in Rikers. If you don't know what's happening in Rikers right now, I don't know what to tell you. But the, put that dude straight in Rikers. No protection. Just put him right out in, <laughs> in General Pop. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out.